Welcome to Hacking with Python 5, Basic Port Scanner. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. If you're watching this without a basic understanding of Python, you'll struggle to follow along. You can watch my Python beginner series to get you up to speed. In this video, we'll be covering how to create a full connect scan port scanner in Python from the ground up. So how it works. First, we try and find the host. Once found, we try and connect and send some data to the specified port. If the port is open, we'll receive an acknowledgement and connect. If it's closed, we won't receive anything and the connection times out. This will be more obvious when we write it. Also, because we're using threading again, we'll need to use a semaphore this time because our thread will be outputting to the screen. A semaphore is basically a lock. We will use it to lock each thread while it uses the print function so no two threads try to print at the same time, generating some pretty funky output. Because we're dealing with network, and we're also building programs you could potentially give to other people, we'll do some error checking and handling. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create a Python file called portscan.py. Okay, so I'll come across to my Ubuntu here, and we'll start writing. So we're going to use uh, we're going to have three functions. We'll have our conscan, which is going to connect and scan, um, and we're going to have portscan, which is going to run our conscan function, and we're also going to have our main function. Okay, so let's create our file. So portscan.py. Okay, now we're going to import optpass. So import optpass as always and from socket we're going to import import star so everything and from threading threading we're going to import star as well because we're also going to use semaphores and we're going to cre create a global variable so we're going to call it screen lock and this is going to be a semaphore, so semaphore. So it's with a capital S. And inside the brackets here, we're going to set the value to one because we only want one thread to be able to uh, print at once. Okay, now we're going to define our conscan function. Okay, so def conscan, and we're going to take the target host and we're also going to take the target port okay now we're going to try and create a socket so con uh, skt for socket equals socket and we'll open up some brackets and we're going to use the afi net and we're going to have a socket stream so Sock underscore stream. And now let's try and connect to our host. So con socket dot connect open brackets. And now we're going to open brackets again. And we're going to give our target host and our target port. And close double brackets. And now we're going to send some da data to it. So con socket dot send open, and we'll just send hello, and we'll put backslash r and backslash n. Okay. Now we're going to grab the results. So results equals con socket receive 100 okay so now if we've made it this far then it means we've connected to the port so what we're going to do is we're going to screen lock so screen lock dot acquire uh, acquire ah acquire and there's no parameters going to that. And then we're going to 
print out. So print and we'll put a little plus sign. Oops, plus sign. Show that the port is open. And then close quotes plus turn the port into a string. So str and I'm gonna put target port. Close that and add onto TCP open and close that off and that's our connecting try uh, our connect done so we'll do write our accept accept now so accept so if this fails we're gonna screen lock and we're gonna acquire again so acquire and now we're going to use the print function so print open quote negative sign this time because it didn't work and pretty much the same as the line above so string let's go target port plus but this time in these quotes we're going to do tcp closed because it's it failed to connect and then we're going to write a finally statement so finally so this will always run no matter what and we're going to go with the screen lock screen lock dot release so this will let go of the screen lock so other threads can use it if they need it and now we're going to close our socket so con socket dot close and that's our uh, conscan function written. So that'll deal with all the connecting to the hosts and seeing if the port's open or closed. Now let's write our port scan function. So def port scan. And we're going to take a target host. And we're going to take a target ports. So you can notice that this is more than one. So ports. And we're going to write another try so try and we're going to try and get the target IP so target IP equals get host by name and then we're going to pass in the target host if that doesn't work we're going to accept and we're going to print out print negative sign cannot resolve and then we'll add in the host so that is t target host and then we'll do unknown host so it can't find the host that we're trying to connect to so unknown host Okay, and then we're going to return because we can't find it, so we don't want to continue. Now we're going to tr write another try, and this time we're going to try and get the target name. So target name equals get host by address, so ADDR. And then we're going to put the target IP in there. Target IP. And we're going to print. We'll do a backslash N. Make this look nice. Open bracket plus. Scan results for. And then we're going to add the target name. So target name. And I want to grab the first. That'll try and that'll try and return a list. Okay. And now if that doesn't work, so accept, then we're gonna print uh, similar to our previous line, but instead of target name, we're gonna do the target IP. So scan results for. And this time we're whoops, we're adding the target IP. 
Uh, I forgot a plus on the previous line. So I'll just add that in. Quick. Plus. Okay. Now. Because we don't want this to try and connect for ages, we'll set a default timeout. So set default. Is spelled right? Uh, default. D. Yep. Default timeout. And we'll put one. And then for target port in target ports. Create a thread, so t equals thread, and our target function is con scan, and our args arguments is the target host, and an integer of the target port. Um, one more, there we go. And then we want to start the thread, so t.start. And that's our port scan function written. Now that's all that's left to do is our main, so def main. And this is where we're going to do all our parser options so that the user can customize what computer they want to scan. Okay, so we create our parser, parser equals opt pass dot option parser and put our usage in here usage usage is percent prog and then we're going to do dash h and that will be our target host host and what else we're we gonna do well um put a backslash here so plus backslash go down to the next line and open up quotes again and we'll do a dash p for the ports and we'll do target port and then we'll finish that up. So that's our usage. Now let's add our options. So parser dot add underscore option. And we're gonna have the capital H, so the dash H. And that is also gonna go to the dest destination of target host. And it's also going to be type of string and we'll separate the line Oops. and the help is going to be uh, specify target host and then we'll close that up and let's add another option. So path to add underscore option. And we're going to take dash p this time. And the dest for that will be target port. And it's going to be type string as well. Type this string. And we'll separate the line help help is equal to specify target uh, port and we'll open up some square brackets so ports are separated by a comma and we'll close that off okay now let's check make sure that the uh, user has actually inputted some stuff so options args and they equal the parser 
dot uh, pass let's go args and then if options dot target host is equal to none or options dot target port is equal to none then what we want to do is print the us usage so print parser dot usage and exit else we're going to set target host to equal options dot target host and target ports equals uh, to string options dot target port and we're going to split that up so split and we're going to split on the comma so that way if they enter in more than one port we split it into a list and then after that we run our port scan so port scan and we pass in our target host and our target ports and that's our main done so we write our if so if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then we run main okay so let's give this a whirl hopefully I haven't got any typos okay now I've got a server running on my network but you could possibly try connecting to your router that may possibly be open or if you've got any servers running on your network you can try connecting to one of the ports that you know know are open okay so I'm gonna run my port scan so Python port scan dot py and dash capital H and my server is on 192.168.10.72 and the port that I have open on it so dash p is 64,738 and hopefully this works so we run that it boots up tries to find the host once it founds the host okay it found the host and the TCP port is open on that uh, server uh, if I try connecting to that server again but this time on port 80 so if there's a web server on that on my server it would say that the port is open but I don't have a web server running so it should be closed so finds the host and then runs a scan and port 80 is closed so that's good because I don't want that to be open cool so that that all worked smoothly okay so this concludes our basic port scanner uh, there's an annotation on screen that will take you to an additional video in which we modify this program to add a feature to scan ranges of ports if you don't remember all of this you can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all the information if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, in the next uh, video, we'll be implementing a port scanner using Nmap and the Nmap module for Python. So, thanks for watching.